Today, kids ask, What makes it snow? Snow may seem magical, but there's actually some interesting science behind the fluffy white flakes that fall from the sky in winter. Just like rain, snow begins in the clouds. Clouds are made of tiny water droplets that have evaporated into a gas, risen up into the sky, and condensed back into water. As tiny water droplets, they remain suspended in the air, but the water droplets soon join together into larger, heavier droplets and become too heavy to stay in the air. When this happens, precipitation will fall. Precipitation is water that falls from the sky, but there are several different kinds. If temperatures are warm enough, water falls as rain. If temperatures are freezing, but only near the ground, the raindrops will freeze when they hit the ground. This is called freezing rain. If the layer of cold air is thicker, the raindrops will freeze while still in the air, falling as separate ice pellets called sleet. Snow only occurs when temperatures are freezing all the way from the cloud to the ground. The loose, open structure of snowflakes means that snow contains a lot of air, which is the reason that snow is soft and fluffy instead of hard and icy. Although it may not be true that no two snowflakes are alike, Snowflakes may form in many different shapes in a variety of complicated structures. If you go outside while it's snowing and catch some snowflakes on something dark, like a glove or a piece of black paper, you may be able to see their structures for yourself. Well, that's what makes it snow. Did that answer your question? Yeah, that helped me a lot. If you like this video too, you should hit down the button and subscribe to Free School for more educational videos. Goodbye till next time! Correct! You got the badge! Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the Science Guy. Wind all over the world is caused by heating and cooling of the Earth. The wind can do work. Hey, look at that. And it makes tailboats go! Well, he went right through the door. Real wind doesn't come from a fan. No, in nature, wind is caused by the heat from the sun and the rotation of the earth. That's what makes these intricate patterns of clouds that we see on this photo from space. It works something like this. This is our great big plastic wind box of science. These lights represent the sun. This ice represents the north and south poles. So here's what happens. Energy from the sun heats the land, and the land warms the air over the land. The air molecules get going faster, and they spread farther apart, so they don't weigh as much for the room they take up. So cold air can push the warm air up. That's why we say warm air rises. So look what's happening. The smoke shows us that the air is sinking over the cold poles, flowing over the cities, and then rising over the warm parts. See, it goes around in a great big circle. And that's what happens on the Earth. Now, there's one more thing. The Earth is spinning, so the wind starts spinning. That's why wind comes from all different directions. Wind is wild. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy.
correct. You got the badge.